Okay guys, this is the official uh, start to the evening, so welcome everybody. Um, my name is Alm, I'm one of the hosts tonight, and welcome to an hour acoustic night at the barn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we will say that once a month, I don't know many people that's been here before, have been here before? Oh, thank you for coming back again. Uh, but I want to you guys who haven't been here before to do me a favour. So on your uh, seats, there's little uh, flyers. And on that flyer, there's, hey, we've actually got up to date with uh, life now. We've got a QR code on there. And if you guys know what a QR code is, what you do is scan that there. And when you scan it, you go onto our, our sign up email list to get put in the email list. And to like, you can like the Facebook page from there as well. And that's what we want all you guys to do. So, for one reason, so you can come back again. <laughs> right? Because every month we put on a concert here, roughly once a month. We put on a concert and we'd love you to come back. I know you're going to enjoy tonight. I don't even have to think, even question that. It's going to be a brilliant night tonight. So you'll want to come back again. Uh, so our next concert is on Saturday the 25th of November. It's a guy called Garth Davies Jones. I don't know whether you've heard of him or not. But he's been around a long time because this is his 20th year um, anniversary of Celebration Tour. And we've been privileged enough to have him do a little stop at the barn here. He must like us to come here. Um, so And he's brilliant. Anybody know Garth Davies Jones? Oh, one person. So yeah, they are. That's good enough. Come back again. Come back again, please. 25th of November. You can buy tickets um, at the counter here, or even easier, go online with your little uh, the barcode and book there. And I'll see you all on the 25th of November again. Okay? Yeah. But tonight, we are absolutely privileged to have a special singer-songwriter all the way on tour, all the way from the city of Derry, on tour. Yeah. 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 Uh, bluegrass. Oh, you've come to the right place. If you haven't, you haven't come to the right place. <laughs> Alright, this last is released five albums, I think it is. Five releases up to now. One of them has been called Niceville. What a privilege. And while she was in Niceville, she got to know um, a lass called uh, Beth Nielsen Chapman. And she said her songs are absolutely beautiful. I absolutely agree with her. So I want you guys tonight to give, for all the way from my homeland, I give a big welcome, acoustic night, well, a the barn welcome to Eile, what's the way you pronounce it? Eile Patterson. Okay. <laughs> so glad to be here and I would not be up here or in Leeds if it wasn't for Alan so massive thanks to Alan for they're bringing me over and putting all of this together <laughs> so I'm going to start with a song called a good day because that's what we're going to have this evening is we're going to have a good evening and uh, I hope you can just sit back and relax after your nice meal that you just had and enjoy uh, these songs but I'm so glad to bring, bring you from across the sea uh, this song uh, was written uh, a number of years back, but uh, I had
had to record it really quickly because the BBC wanted me to use it. They wanted to use it as a trail for um, one of their programs. So I was like, oh no, I don't have anywhere to record it. Where am I going to record it? So um, I managed to persuade some bluegrass musicians who are friends of mine called Cup of Joe that they would let me uh, record this in their caravan, which is just outside their house in a farm <laughs> in Armagh. So we recorded this song in between the bleats of the goat next door and the donkey hee-hawing in the field. So every so often we had to stop recording and, and let them work away. <laughs>
want you to be mine. Thought you were true. Thought love was blind. But now I see you. And I Turn to to write songs and to chill out. And, um, so it was a rainy day in the summertime about maybe five, six years ago when I was sitting in the caravan, my parents' 60 year old caravan, complete with chimney and stove. Um, and I was sitting on a rainy day in that caravan in my shorts and t shirt and a pair of red wellies. And I was looking out the window and thinking, I'm in the mood to write a song. So this is what came out. It's called It's All Right.
of them by the, by the time I was 18. Anyway, um, I uh, took her into this gallery that was one of my favorite places to go to and uh, we were walking around and looking at all the beautiful, beautiful artwork and uh, scarves and wee trinkets and things like that. And I saw this beautiful plaque and it was only about that size and it was um, a little plaque that was a hammered copper plat plaque and on the plaque there was an inscription and it said, I am still learning. And underneath it said, Michelangelo. And I was like, whoa, I did not realize he said that. And it just really hit me between the eyes when I read it. And then I turned it over and saw the price of it. And was like, OK, I'll not be getting that today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was a broke musician then. I'm a broke musician now. <laughs> and uh, so I, I remember just really being impacted by the statement, though. and so. I didn't know that, but my friend had run back in and bought me that for my birthday and about six months later this arrived for me and I opened the package and I couldn't believe it that she'd gone back in and bought it for me and so I hung up in my bedroom all and this song wrote itself, it's called Still Learn.
I think during that time. <laughs> um, and there was another time I got sick though where it wasn't COVID but it was a really long kind of chest infection thing and do you ever get that kind of period whenever you're sick and your temperature sky high and you're kind of delirious? <laughs> we were actually talking about the band delirious earlier. Um, anyway I was in a slightly delirious state um, lying in bed in Valencia one day and um, uh, sometimes I get pretty creative or sometimes my mind jumps around and to different things that I would never normally think about and so 
And I was lying there and suddenly this memory <coughs> resurfaced from when I was about oh, 25 years ago, like a long time ago when I was a teenager. And it was a memory that I didn't want to remember. It was something that I dredged up from the past that you know, I'd obviously wanted to forget about, but um, anyway, it popped into my consciousness and uh, I was lying there thinking about that situation and it was one of those me too moments, um, unfortunately, so many of us have gone through. So anyway, I was lying there and I was thinking, you know, I've never really allowed myself to get angry about what happened to me, but you know, actually I could feel this anger rising and it could have been the high temperature as well. <laughs> But I could just feel like myself getting, you know, properly angry the way I should have got at the time, but didn't allow myself to. And so um, I, could, I didn't know what to do with this emotion, so I decided to get up and write a song about it. So this is an acapella song called Hey Girl, which I haven't recorded yet, but um, I'll probably record it soon. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> Keep a secret, can you keep this quiet on the down low? Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Nobody else in the world can know. Under the cover, the cover of darkness, evil slips in and it steals your soul. I see you smiling, all jokes and lightness, feasting on the flesh that once was whole. Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Can you keep us quiet on the down low? Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Nobody else in the world can know. Out from the covers, in broad daylight, evil never thinks that he's gonna get caught. But when you hit the dirt, the truth rises and suddenly it's the only thing you've got. Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Can you keep us quiet on the down low? Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Nobody else in the world can know. Go off the cover, let in the sunlight, tell your truth to someone till you're understood. Keeping your pain deep on the inside, never did anybody any good. Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Can you keep us quiet on the down low? Hey girl, can you keep a secret? Nobody else in the world can know. Nobody else in the world can know. Nobody else in the world can know. chance to do. Anybody else done it here? Yes? Oh, isn't it the most amazing experience you've ever done? Oh my good. It was just amazing. I uh, I mean, out of all the holidays I've ever been on, I would never have said before that a walking holiday with like a massive backpack on my back would be my favorite holiday ever, but it actually was. <laughs> and uh, I just met so many people from all over the world and just had loads of time to think and new views and scenery every day and it was just incredible. So. I got the chance to do it at the end of June in 2022 and when I got back to my apartment in Valencia I had to write a song just to capture my experience. So it's called Galicia, the song, and um, the chorus is super simple. It's Galicia, Galicia, I needed ya, Galicia. <laughs> okay? So you can't go wrong with that, okay? <laughs> so I'll just start singing and you can join in. <laughs> On the road to Santiago Walking El Camino Where the rain and the wind blow Making me feel at home
Happy the sound there?
Thank you so much for being here. And I've just realized that several people traveled a long distance to be here tonight. So first of all, we have this amazing gentleman here who traveled 100 miles to be here. Uh, yeah. Gary. This is Gary. He is there something feeding back or is that me? Or is that the... Oh, that's great. That's okay. I was like, ooh, something's going to move. And, uh, let's see, sorry. Yes, it's okay. And we also have Aileen, who traveled 200 miles. Um, I think maybe the winner is Anna, who traveled from Northern Ireland. so much and especially also to the locals. I mean if it wasn't for the locals there wouldn't be a gig. So thank you so much. Um, so this is a song called I've Got Lines and it was written as uh, I drove back from Belfast to Derry over the Glen Shane Pass. I don't know if you know that part of the country but yeah. um, I had been through a bit of a rubbish time with anxiety and things and so I had to move back home and with my parents at the age of 30. Disaster. <laughs> anyway. Look at you now. Look at me now. I still live with the parents. <laughs> anyway. Thank God for family. It's, and that's basically what this song is about. Thank God for family. And um, yeah, it's called I've Got Lines. And this was written as I was going across the Glen Chain Pass with my dad driving up all of my material possessions in a big van in front of me. And I was driving behind him in my little car and just thinking, wow, imagine I didn't have anywhere to go to. So, you know, I was very grateful. <laughs> Stretched 
record my second album back in 2012. Um, I managed to uh, get some funding from the Arts Council and I was able to go over to Nashville, Tennessee and record my album over there with a, a really wonderful producer called Lee Holland. And I remember being in the studio and playing this next song I'm going to play and he was like, I think a string quartet would go well with this one. And I was like, yes, that would be perfect. So he put a string quartet on and um, it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to sing the string quartet bit, so you have to imagine that it's a quartet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you want to hear the quartet, you can get the album tonight. <laughs>
like miserable as opposed to you know a rainy day <laughs> it has to, there has to be an emotion attached to it oh am i am i still on yes i am um so uh yeah i have a very active imagination i was imagining myself on a sunny beach in the middle of the summer in donegal of course and uh it's called sunshine <coughs> Bye. 
your turn to shine. I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Until this weekend, coming to Leeds, I haven't journeyed very far from Northern Ireland. So, um, so yeah, it was uh, it was actually an album that came about. It was more of an internal journey I'd been on, and uh, you know, when you go through periods of anxiety, sometimes that makes you go on a kind of existential uh, <laughs> crisis, which leads to a breakthrough, which leads to peace, and that's basically the journey that I was on. And um, so, this uh, song is a song that I wrote whenever. I realized for the first time, after having been superhuman strong, you know, all my life, that actually it was okay to be broken. It's okay to fall apart. And uh, so, this is broken. I've seen hard times.
Slow down. 
Steve will be looking after the CD, um, I hope. Uh, two CDs for £15, you can't go wrong with that, and the uh, EP for £5, so come on guys, take her home with you as well. <laughs> um, number two, we've still got the yellow donation pot for our good friend Bobby, if you want to still donate, it's on the uh, food counter, uh, food payment counter. Um, number three is those little QR codes that you've got on your seat, take them home and sign up and come back again. Okay. Right, well, here's our light. <laughs> I think what we need is a little lullaby to send us all home and get ready for bed, yeah? <laughs> so this is a song I wrote for, uh, for busy parents because I remember it was coming up to Christmas one time and um, I had a lot of friends who had young kids at the time. They've all grown up now, but um, I remember thinking, well, Christmas is stressful enough without having young kids thrown into the mix. <laughs> I'm sure you've all been there. Um, so I thought, you know, it would be nice to have a lullaby for adults. So uh, so I wrote this for my friend Sarah. And uh, tonight I'm singing it for Aileen, who's come all this way. <laughs> and is a busy mother. <laughs> well, the kids are up in bed. Stories have been read. Prayers have all been said. And everything is quiet, so I sit down to unwind. But I can't leave the day behind. A million thoughts run through my mind. How I wish it would get quiet. Oh, who will sing to the adults when the kids are? Send 
No, no. 